What's poppin' gamers? <laughs> Happy Sunday. How's it going, everybody? Did you guys see the Beast hype train earlier? Good, good. No, I did not see that, but that makes me happy. That's awesome. That's great. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, when when you're doing something fundraisery or like uh, charity wise, a lot of so this is what happens. You raise a lot of money right at the beginning. Slows down in the middle. Raise a lot at the end. That's the way it usually goes. So that's the way it usually happens in in my observations and experiences. So that doesn't surprise me, but it does make me very happy. That's good stuff. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Seaberry? How's it going? <clears throat> but anyway, uh, spam and all. Thanks for the 13 months, bud. Welcome back. Appreciate that. Oh yeah. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend so far. Uh, we are going to be playing a little bit of Mario today. I know, big, big surprise, big change from our norm, but it is Mario time today. <laughs> Maybe we'll actually finish this hack, I'm not sure. So we have three levels left, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we might actually finish it today. Uh, let's see, we've done three Switch Palaces so far, I'm pretty sure. And they don't count as exits on here because they didn't crush but I'm pretty sure he counted them as exits on SMW Central, so that would mean that we're on exit 15. Yeah, so we would be 14 down to be going into exit 15. And I'm pretty sure there are 17 total, so I think that, that sounds about right. I'm thinking that we've got three left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize I was giving you the ASMR and then <laughs> might as well lean into it. <laughs> My bad. Dude, I was laughing my ass off. So if you guys didn't see it, Space Fiction's birthday today. She's streaming right now. She started with the hardest level. <laughs> and Kuso Ecstasy. She started with the most difficult level and was like, can we beat it in 10 minutes? And I was like, no. <laughs> you can't beat it in 10 minutes. <laughs> Not to be Mr. Dowdy Mustafa or anything like that, but I beat it in... I went back and I looked at the video. It took me 13 minutes. So, yeah, that, that level's hard. <laughs> that level's actually pretty hard. Easy points though, yeah, right? But anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, what is in the news today? What is in the news today? Uh, I saw that uh, there's a new character. <laughs> there's a new character that was just announced for Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> He's really, really, really overpowered. <laughs> it's really funny though. It's really, really funny. Time to bet if Laser will beat this level in 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's completely fucking random in this hashtag. I'll, I'll play a level and I'll beat it in like uh, 15 minutes and then at the next level will take me two hours. Not not even the next level, the, the first half of the next level will take me two hours. Nice fucking difficulty balance, asshole. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, perfectly balanced, as all hacks should be. <laughs> yep, curve. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why? Jesus Christ! So, my emote artist is Young Khan. He's the guy who's done like the majority of my emotes. And you know how if you like something, it shows up in other people's timelines? He liked some fucking super lewd Lola Bunny shit. 
So I'm scrolling through and it's like, Young Khan likes this. So I was like, oh, okay, it's probably tasteful. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Congrats, Laser. Your viewership has been hella good lately. Thank you. Uh, the streams have been going really well lately. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but our reoccurring sub count jumped up like 150 in the last couple weeks. It's fucking weird, but I'll try to roll with it. It's it's the boosty? Is that what it is? It's, it's been all the boosts. It's okay, dude. In, in like two weeks, it'll drop back down by a hundred and I'll be sweating again. It just yo-yos back and forth over and over again. It scares the shit out of me. Okay, mom's gone. You can go back to being perverted if that's what you want to do. Do you want to see this shit? I'm not going to show it on stream because it's fucking crazy, but... My, my fucking emote artist liked this and it showed up in my, my feed. I feel like I have to preface that before you guys are like, Laser's just a fucking pervert. This, this showed up in my fucking feed. Young Khan liked this. Oh, okay, what is it? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Here, just for proof. Khan liked this. A little late to the party, but yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. Wah! Arctic Tacos, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Thank you very much. Man, I just had tacos for the first time in a hell of a long time yesterday. <clears throat> Mm hmm feels good man thank you very much so uh, the plan today we're gonna be playing Mario all day and we are hopefully going to finish off this hack and after we after we either make an adequate amount of progress <clears throat> or we finish it then we're gonna host up the beast because he's doing a fundraiser for one of his family members today I will show you real quick the pictures that he posted so you get an idea of what's going on these are the pictures that a beast posted so this is his house this is his garage this is not <clears throat> this is not the beast's house this is one of his family members it's either it's either his dad or his grandpa he called him his papa so I don't know what that means um but his that's Anything in his garage is is completely fucked. Anything in the first story of the house is pretty fucked. And and they broke their ankle while they were trying to save their stuff. So he's raising money to replace like his lost everything and his uh and to help with medical bills for the broken ankle. So very good cause. Um and Beast is a super duper good dude, so we want to help him. Joe Hannah, thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Another one of uh, another one of Ivan's uh, sub babies. <laughs> the shit, man. I know, right? That shit sucks. It's his grandfather. Okay. That's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that, Royal Servant. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, that makes me very, very happy. 
Yeah, Beast was actually asking me uh, what I did for for the Mammothon. Uh, he was at he he wasn't asking me for like like tips on how to raise money or anything like that. He was just asking me like if I went through a service or anything like that so that he could maximize like making sure he didn't uh send too much of your guys' money to like taxes or anything like that or or like like if he solely went through like Twitch subs or something like that then he would lose like half of the money, you know. So, yeah. He just wanted to make sure that he was uh Maximizing the amount of money that was going toward his uh, his grandpa, which is smart. It's very smart. Uh, Vega, thanks for the five months. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah. So that's the plan today, guys. I hope you guys are down with that because that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Dude, I've been having so much fun with Enter the Gungeon. That game is so fucking fun. If you guys were here yesterday when I was playing it, if you guys were here yesterday when I was playing it, that fucking run that we had where we got the glass cannon plus the alpha and omega bullets going into the lich. Oh my god, that was fucking funny. Good Christ. <clears throat> Yeah, we had a run yesterday where I was so strong that I was able to kill the Lich in three hits. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. It was pretty damn funny. I had no idea how much damage I was going to do. So I went into the boss fight and I hit him once and it chunked his health for like... And I was like... <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty damn good. I still have no fucking idea how to fight the rat, so I don't know how to get to the rat yet, but... Well, we'll get there eventually. I have no ammo. I'm gonna die, and then I killed the boss in three hits. I know, right? Fuck that rat. People keep telling me that the rat is, like, the hardest boss in the game, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely excited for that. But, uh, yeah. I think well, I still gotta finish off my uh, my breakfast. So let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I don't want to I don't want to brush my teeth and then eat breakfast. Do, you, do any of you guys do that? Are you guys infidels that fucking brush your teeth and then eat breakfast? Yeah, sometimes. You always wait like 30 minutes. Who even needs regular meals? Yeah, I suppose. Brushing directly after eating promotes tooth erosion. Well, shit. That's unfortunate because my dentist always told me to brush my teeth right after eating when I had uh, braces on to keep all the fucking food out of my teeth. I was eroding my teeth for three years straight. gonna believe Twitch chat or some random dentist? Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> Man. Twitch chat, obviously. Yeah, that's the obvious answer. 
Erosion is only a risk if you brush right after throwing up. I mean, that would make sense because you're literally exposing your teeth to uh, stomach acid. So your pro teeth are probably in like a vulnerable state and then you brush them. That would make sense. But I can't remember the last time I puked. Thank goodness, too, because goddamn do I hate that. Drink more? I don't like drinking that much. What's up, Chocobot? You puked like two weeks ago? Ugh. Gross. Dude, I saw- <laughs> Hang on, hang on. <gasps> Look at this. This is the kind of video that I'm gonna end up in at some point. I'm gonna end up in a video like this at some point in the future, and it's gonna be your guys' fault. I was given the unique opportunity to review Tenga's insane collection of Japanese adult toys. So I roped my fellow gentlemen of culture, Giguk, to help me out <laughs> put all of them to the ultimate test. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Look at this lineup. What the fuck? And what is this? What is this? Is this is this like like super duper dick drink? What is this? I'm not drinking this. You know, after a thorough review, I gotta say that this one made my cock feel really good. Like, what is this? The <laughs> I don't know. The ultimate test. Yeah, I don't know, man. It scares the hell out of me. What was the clear one on the- I don't know, man. I'll tell you right now, ahead of time. If one of my friends asks me to be in a video and I have to stick something up my butt, I'm not being in the video. No chance. Nope. <laughs> Come on, laser, live a little, bro. No. Not happening. <laughs> Does it depend on how much they're paying you, though? No. What if you have to stick it up their butt? That's even worse. <laughs> what if it feels really good then I'm doing it off camera <laughs> ain't no way that's ending up in a video me talking about shoving something up my ass yeah and then he had to go to the hospital <laughs> but um Put a toy car and a condom up his ass, right? Am I thinking of the right thing? What's up, Teddy? Yeah, that's it. That's what I thought. I haven't seen the Jackass movies in a really long time. Dude, I'm looking at some of these fucking things. Look at this one. Hang on. Th that these these say spinner. Spinner. Are you gonna put it on your dick and it's gonna like, whoosh, like a fucking top? <laughs> Spinner? I'm horrified. Easy beat egg? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Look at the comments. Nothing says friendship like helping the homie rub one out. Bro job, bro job. <laughs> oh no. Oh, God. That's why I'm confused about what the ultimate test is. Yeah, I don't know if I want to know, dude. The fuck did I enter here? I saw this show up. People have been talking about Tenga and my stream a bunch lately. I, I saw this show up. 
because I follow the anime man and Gigguk. Uh, so this video showed up in my Twitter feed and it said, I was given the unique opportunity to review Tanga Global's insane collection of Japanese adult toys. So I roped my fellow gentleman of culture, Gigguk, to help me put all of them to the ultimate test. And it's, I'm terrified. I'm t look, look at the look on his face. He's like, do I really have to fuck all of these things? <laughs> he looks horrified. He looks stressed out, but he looks terrified. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm scared for them, dude. Would you let another dude share your sex toys? I mean, like there's so many here. I think that like hang on. All right, man. I'll do this half. And then you do this half. <laughs> or maybe hang on. We can divide it like this. There we go. That seems more even cuz you got all these easy beat eggs to go through. It's a lot of eggs. <laughs> what is that long cylinder on the left? So many questions. I don't know, dude. I don't know. My my guess that that's going up somebody's ass, dude. Hundred percent. That's going up somebody's ass. Cause I, I mean, look at it, dude. Wait a minute, it's got like a base. Hang on. <laughs> look at it's got a base. <laughs> Do you have to sit on this thing? What <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Egg. Oh my god, dude. I'm horrified. It's a drying rack for the Tenga. All right, on that note, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. I'm fucking disgusted. I'll be right back.
All right, let's do it. Let's play the video game. Let's do the damn thing. All right, what are we? What are we doing? We just did booze cruise. Ether. It's the cape level. Oh, I forgot, dude. I had like, I went into a state of, of blissful forgetfulness after. Yeah, anyway. That's not A. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a spike. Yeah, those are all Tengas, so Mario is actually not dying because, like, he got physically injured. Uh, he's dying because he's disgusted. He got dripped on. <laughs> Wonder if we're using A for everything here. Yeah, it looks like it. Imagine dodging a wall full of used tangas. Disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least the music is good. Teehee. Hope your adventures are going well. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Ah, a little early. This doesn't look so bad so far. I'm assuming that the next room is gonna kick my dick off, though. What does that even mean? Is, is that what the dick drink did? Is that what the Tenga drink does? It strengthens your dick? Alright, I'll take the Tenga drink. Ah, a little late that time. That's not a good reason. <laughs>
tahu. Ingat. I can give you many reasons to go left, comrade. It's pretty good. How's it going, Tofu? Tofu, I've got a great video idea for us to do. Take the ultimate test. Gonna fill me in? No. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> showed up on my my Twitter feed because I follow Gigguk and the anime man. <laughs> it says, I was given the unique opportunity to review Tenga Global's insane collection of Japanese adult toys, so I roped my fellow gentleman of culture, Gigguk, to help me put them to the ultimate test. <laughs> Look at how fucking terrified they are. <laughs> Forward. I don't know if I want to hold forward or hold back or, or what. There's a toy that jacks you off by motion control? Wait, 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 wait. So does that mean that somebody else is doing it from like across the room? Hold on. <laughs> so somebody's got like a Wii remote and they're like... <laughs> You hold the controller like a kid with a race car? Do I hold back here? It's a pseudo Dutch rudder. Suddenly lasers interested in motion controls. <laughs> yep. Yep, motion. Hey, thanks for the good luck, dude. Still not used to seeing Mark Alarm, but I'll I'll get there. I'll get there. Saw disc, thank you very much for the 10 months. I appreciate the double digit support. Oh. 
Uh, Chris J. Louie, thanks for the tier 220 months. Holy shit. The most expensive item is 500 bucks. It's a weight that you put on top of the toy, which will make you get some jacked arms while you... <laughs> it's like, just like the Dragon Ball Z version of jerking off. Holy crap. The, the fucking Kame House turtle shell. Okay, okay, no, I get it. How did you get such big forearm? seen any of the proportions or the uh, I shouldn't say proportions I should say like statistics that they have for Street Fighter characters like hang on a second let me show you this shit okay so I'm gonna use Sagat all right so Sagat let me, let me see. In game. Where is he? Okay, so Sagat is seven foot four and he's 280 pounds. I am calling such fucking shenaniganery. 280 pounds? Are you fucking kidding me? At seven foot four? You see how big this guy is? Uh, hang on a second. There, there's like no good Street Fighter Four. Let me see uh, Sagat in Street Fighter Four. Why are there no good screenshots? Okay, okay. <laughs> This this is just fan art, but this is actually fairly accurate. <laughs> this guy weighs like 500 pounds, all right? Yeah. There's no chance. You can't fucking tell me that this guy is 280 pounds. <laughs> I will never believe you. No way. Maybe just his legs, yeah. Anyway, Dark Pyros, thanks for the tier 2 16 months, dude. Thank you very much. Sagat is actually a balloon animal. Tough. Thank you very much, Dark Pyros. I can't believe how many tier 2 subs we have, dude. That shit actually blows my mind. That's super hard. I mean, M MB? Uh, I don't know who that is. Let me see. Okay, so he's seven foot two and two eighty. Joel Embiid. Okay, so this guy is two inches shorter than Sagat. Let me find Sagat again. Hmm. 
the Sagat workout. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> let let's have a let's have like a, a little comparison here. Where's a good? Here we go. <laughs> Tiger. So we're gonna compare. So this guy is seven foot two, 280 pounds. So he's actually shorter than Sagat. So that means that he should be more compact. So he should be like a little bit more jacked. So seven foot two, 280 pounds. All right, seven foot four, 280 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> His arm is the size of that guy. <laughs> Jesus fucking shit. Anyway. Yeah, I believe it. What are we looking at? Uh, Street Fighter characters. Street Fighter characters have weird proportions. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, next we're gonna find out that Sagat is actually 17 years old. Baki, I would believe it. Yeah, that's what we said yesterday. <laughs> I'm not trying to sticky fly. Remember when people said the sticky fly was TAS only? Remember that shit? We're doing it on accident these days. How naive we were back then. Dang it. Back when uh, Pango World first came out, people said that uh, the cape level was TAS only. Jojo versus Sagat. I mean, uh, how tall? Jojo Kujo is like six foot three, six foot four, something like that, if I recall. I can't remember. How tall is he? He's pretty tall. He's not seven foot six, <laughs> or seven foot four, or whatever. Um, that's how tall Sagat is. So Sagat would tower over him. Six foot five, there you go.
crap. He's only 180 pounds. Wait, really? Are you sure? Joe Turo's weight is listed as 82 kilograms. Dude, do people who make these characters not understand? Hang on. Do the people that make these characters just not fucking get it? really coming up short for me today, dude. Okay, so this guy right here, first off, he's 17 years old. Yeah, whatever. But he's six foot five, and he's built like a brick shit house. You can see his fucking muscles through his clothes. He's 180 pounds? Fucking bullshit. He's like 220 minimum. <laughs> minimum. Maybe he's got really skinny legs. Maybe. Guess the stand, it makes him lighter. Okay. I get, I get it now. That's absurd. Street Fighter 2, so that was 7 foot 5, 170. <laughs> he was literally a skeleton then. A skeleton man. Skeleton man. <laughs> In part six, he does look a lot skinnier. He's a lot older in part six though, right? I haven't read part six, but I know that he's got a daughter in part six. That's like the main character, I'm pretty sure. So he's gotta be a lot older. Okay, so I actually need to jump off of that. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, his, uh, his character models got a lot more feminine as time went on. They started out being very, very big and muscular. And then as time went on, they became a lot more slender. <laughs> little, little too slow. I know. Then by the end of it, he's doing like, uh, 
some pretty wild posing. Like his butt stuck out and stuff. Spin Pash actually in? <gasps> yes. As far as I can tell, unless I got really lucky literally every single time. I feel like people without those muscles and a foot shorter could be 180 with the stockiness. Yeah, for sure. Why do you need to land on the shell? Because I have to let go of the shell, so I have to let go of the Y button, and that means that I'm gonna fall. Yeah, since I have to release the shell, that means that I'm gonna stop flying. Gifted me a sub. And how dare you? Uh, you can click your notifications and check. Here, I'll show you. They are up here. Notifications. Unless you're on mobile, then I can't help you. Uh, you'd click your notifications and it'll tell you who. Those notifications are how I always know right away when some fucking D-Gen gives me a sub to Pokemon. Anonymous has gifted you a sub to Pokemon. Oh wow, thank you! And it's tier 2 amazing! I hear lasers say floor. Yeah, go floor it in the B stream. Thank you, Steg. Thank you very much. Thank you. Boy, I, I feel hashtag blessed. Thank you so much. I hope she's online and that she read my name out. What's up, Aurelian? She wasn't. Oh, damn. Ryu is 150 pounds according to Street Fighter 2. Yeah, I mean, Ryu car is a pretty slim guy. I could see that. Hey, thanks very much for the seven months, dude. What's up, Dirty Mike? His beard alone is 180 pounds? Goddamn. He must have a very thick neck. Sir Kenjman, thanks for the 15 months. How you been? Thanks very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. 
You gotta take like a really sick line there in order for that dive to work out. Another one? Jesus, dude. Crap. Close. Kodakan, thanks for the tier 2 14 months. That's three tier 2 resubs today alone. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Donkers. Redneck Wizard, thanks for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Welcome back. How the hell did that happen? That was weird looking. People just really like the yaw. <laughs> yeah. The suicide? Pull up just a little bit sooner, and then you get more height. This part reminds me of Battletoads. Just the da da da. What's up, Tanner? How's it going? How's it feel to be uh, vaccinated? You lucky girl. Now that your arm isn't super sore. Nice. Dude, the people who, who like Cape really like Cape. Have you guys noticed that? The people, who, the people who like Cape like it so much that they're like, if I make a Cape level, it's gotta be at least 16 sections long. It can't just be first half, second half. We have to divide it into quadrants and then divide those quadrants into quadrants. Uh-oh. Oh. Just checkpoints at each pipe. Yeah, it's true. section just wait the real cave section begins next level oh. 
Okay, I'm assuming that I need to slam there because there's gonna be, I heard a shell and I saw buttons, so it probably needs to get bounced up into the buttons from a shell slam. Come on and slam, welcome to the jam. Unless you're Lola Bunny, then you're not invited. Okay, gotcha. Whoops. They did Lola dirty, I know, right? Unfortunate. Well, you know. <laughs> It looks like Sandy Cheeks ate Lola Bunny. <laughs> they, they did a fucking fusion dance and got the worst properties of both of them. There is one thing, like, like I'm mostly memeing about the Lola Bunny thing, but there's one thing that actually annoys me about it, and that is that the director who decided to change her basically said, we need strong, smart, blah, 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 female role models for young women. What's wrong with women having big boobs? Are you saying that women that have big boobs can't be good role models or that they can't be strong women or what? Why, why do people look down on having big tits? Yeah, you can't be sexy and strong. No, you can't do that. Fuck that. That actually bugs me. I'm mostly memeing, but that part actually bothers me. Women that are thick are not all fucking bimbos, dude. Just saying. Yeah, it bugs me. We need to slant ever so slightly further to the right. Wasn't the original Lola kind of dope though? She was, yeah. She actually accomplished a lot. It wasn't like she sat on the sidelines and, and looked pretty. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go full big chungus with her. <laughs> it's been a long time between uh, the first Space Jam and this one, so I kind of let myself go. This is super, super, super tight. Yeah, the quarantine hit her hard. She's the new Thor. Replace she with a chunga. Yes, I agree. That is what the internet should do.
Damn it. Hmm. What could I have done better? What could I have done better? Four months. Jesus Christ, man. How you been feeling, dude? Thank you very much for sticking around, man. I appreciate that. Still no smell or taste, but decent otherwise. How, uh, how long has it been? There we go. Took about three and a half weeks for me. At least four or five weeks. Damn. A. You smelled for a second the other day and then it went away. It freaked you out bad. I've had it in November and still has no smell. God damn, dude. I guess I, I must have gotten really lucky then. Hmm. Your taste is half there? No, I understand what you mean by that, too, because... When I didn't have a sense of taste, it was almost like my brain was oh, was compensating. It was basically like I know what this is supposed to taste like, so I'm going to faintly put it onto your onto your taste buds. Dang it. Ah, you can't can't do that. I tried explaining it to chat and I can't. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was like for me. This shell jump is very weird. Shut up. That's what they normally taste like. <laughs> Baron, how you doing? Mm. Okay, so I need, I think, to not pull back so fast, and then I won't dive. So, like this. Still got stuck on the pencil, though, even though I was definitely past it. I've still got some slots open. I should probably actually add mod check. I like that one. Mod check to me is also like uh, a looking to see who asked emote. <laughs> like somebody somebody says some stupid shit, and then you're like, 
<laughs> Y'all hear some? Stole my momentum like more slowly that time. That shit was fucking weird. Usually it just eats all the momentum at once. I like this song. The only thing that I usually find pretty offensive with uh, SMW hack music is when the loop is too short. So, pretty much any song that has a very long loop, I'm usually like. fall in the first pit a DGR gets the swings pencils grabbing your cape between your neck and tugging you back this is why this is why we say no capes We finally get back to this part is good again. Yeah. I think uh, one of the longest loops that I've I've heard still in a uh, Kaizo hack song is that Jurassic Park Dark World song. You know what I'm talking about? The one that's in um, Mirkwood and Grand Pearl too. Come on. Why, dude? to go this fast without dying. Hmm. Oh. Song in the final level of Casio is a six minute loop. Damn, that's why. That's why you hear people say, uh, here comes the melody of shame after they've been stuck in the level for like a while in the speedrun. <laughs> here comes the melody of shame. Six minutes in. I don't know how to do this part because if I go too fast then I'll pull up and I'll just smash into the ceiling. But I don't know how to go fast. 
and just remain above and below the pencils. At least the very beginning is nice and miserable. <laughs> At least I can't just start flying. I have to do this shit. Jesus. Close. Close. Oh, the whole hack isn't miserable. And saying there are only a couple more levels after this level though i was wondering because uh the uh, switch palaces don't actually count as exits on the menu because they don't crush so i either have like two levels left or like five levels left Cape frame rule. Oh. I hate the goddamn cape frame rule, dude. Cape frame rule can suck my ass. Oh. Then you let go of it early. frame roll out to dinner first you have any idea how many dates I've gone on with this shitty fucking frame roll it never puts out dude Hatsune Marku. <laughs> nice name. So 31 months, man. God damn. Some of you guys are fucking laser belcher boomers. Cape, cape, Severus, cape. Speaking of fucking boomers, ancient memes right there. Number door. chat is full of internet boomers, I know, right? Next thing you know, they're gonna be like, let's get some shows. Shows. <laughs> oh. 
<clears throat> this should suck. <laughs> I bet you there's something about that dental plan scene that you guys probably never noticed before. They made a mistake in that scene and they accidentally made Carl white. I'll show you. Check this out. Like, that's not Carl. What are you talking about? Watch this. Watch. Right plan. right Lisa after this. Braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. He's wearing the same fucking clothes. Huh? They made him white. What the fuck? Yellow, whatever. Shut up. Um, actually, laser. Maybe that's a superpower. Maybe. Actually, you will find that he is yellow, sir. To do an accurate assessment of his color pigmentation, you would find that he is in fact yellow and not white. Thank you. That's delicious. Uh, social media is trash. Thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. I still agree with your name. Oof. Well, you know, could have, could have maybe gone a little bit smoother than that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so if I just go straight up, right here. Well, you never know. I might still need flight through the pipe. Hmm. I was gonna say if I built myself a little bridge here, I could still jump up there. But. If I still need flight through the pipe, that won't work. Oh. 
fucking goddamn it. Is this Polybridge now? No, because if it were, then chat would be backseating the shit out of me. They would be like, Laser, your fulcrum isn't actually good enough for this bridge to properly. And I'll be like, You're gonna need a lot more arches. <laughs> Dude, when I was playing Spelunky, uh, when I was playing Spelunky, I would start seeing vertical levels and I would try to, like, hold down for the camera to pan down and I'd be like, oh yeah, you can't do that in Mario, huh? Yeah, no shit. Damn cape frame roll, I hate it so much. Did you know there are people that like this? God, it sickens me. I wouldn't call them people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your word's not mine. I'll slide you those five bucks later, dude. a bridge IRL. What's up, Para? How's it going? I had your patience. It really helps when you make a lot of money to do this. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much that helps your patience. Fucking god damn it. song sound like it's farting in my speakers. There's not enough money in the world to make my patients uh, plow through Neo 2. to think about it. How about now for Neo mm, message still not quite clear. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. <laughs> I'm doing my part. The multi-millionaire Neo-loving chat member. <laughs> <sighs> 
No, no, I think that, uh, I think the message is starting to become clearer. Um, it's looking like... N no? Am I saying that right? That might be Spanish. N no. Yeah, I think that that's it. Yeah. I think that is Spanish, me too. <laughs> the word C always makes me think of Dumb and Dumber. When they're like, mock, yeah, ing, yeah, and then they pick up the, uh, the hitchhikers. Mock, C, ing, C. <laughs> that movie's so dumb. I fucking love that movie, though. How many of you guys grew up with parents who, uh, when they said maybe, it just meant no? <laughs> it meant no, but this will keep you quiet. <laughs> maybe it meant ask mom. And then mom would say no. <laughs> Thanks, little fist. <laughs> Thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. That's super generous. Dude, I just remembered that Ty Lopez exists the other day. Forgot all about that. Here I am with my new Lamborghini. <laughs> Fucking guy. But you know what I like better than material goods? Knowledge. Why didn't you fucking fly? Imagine if after the pipe there's not a checkpoint. I'm actually a little concerned about that because like you can keep flight through the pipe. This is fucking super hard, man. Getting through here slowly would not be difficult at all, but you have to go super fast in order to beat the P-Switch. That's fucking dumb. I feel like that shouldn't even be possible. I made it through all the pencils, and then I just get owned because the shape of the level said, fuck you. Oh. 
Just sticky fly under. Good idea. I let go of A to drop right there so long before. My god, that frame rule fucking sucks. It's garbage, dude. It's fucking garbage. I really find myself saying this every single time I play a cape level. No person who's ever made a cape level has thought, what if cape but fun? No person. Not one. Not a single fucking one. Unbelievable. You guys already know what my cape level would look like. You guys are already fully aware. Here, you guys want to see my cape level? I'll show you. I will show you. Here's my cave level right here. Okay, so like, here's the floor. Alright, here's a wall. And a nice, nice fucking helix wall. Here's two blocks. Here's, here's the feather. Here, here's Mario. Here's the goal. So you, you grab the feather and then you hit the blocks and then it's a whole level. Man, it's a good level. Holy shit. What a sick level. The fucking cape challenge. Damn, dude. I thought I was gonna make that. Instead of a gold tape, can it be an orb? I'll think about it. <laughs> Whenever somebody... <laughs> I'm gonna start doing this. Whenever somebody who isn't subbed makes a request of me, I'll say, yes, if you subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it an orb if you sub. 
<laughs> yep. As <laughs> genius, it'll never fail. Laser, can you make an OnlyFans? Oh. Ah, see, Gunstig Verben. You, you haven't uh, realized my secret power. Lying. I can lie. What if I subscribe? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Through the power of lies. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. was showing off some clips of her playing uh, that horror game. I can't remember what it was. Visage. Visage. That one with Cliffy. God, those were some funny fucking streams. God, those are some funny streams. Did you guys know that at one point Cliffy got so scared during that playthrough that he fucking kicked over the whole computer tower? <laughs> Seven. Was was it during RE seven that hang on? Maybe it was PT. This is definitely in this video. I just don't know where. Oh, it's right here. Hang on. <gasps> here, look at this. This is one of my favorite fucking clips. Did it work? Did it work? Controller! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh shit, I threw my fucking controller! <laughs> God, I love that fucking guy. Oh, man. You just got here? We're talking about people getting scared while playing horror games.
Why are all the spikes butt plugs? Those are some pretty sharp looking butt plugs, dude. They, they look like they're broken. seen the clean I uploaded to my channel? No. What's, what is it? <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. So fast. All right, next. Thank goodness he didn't have to keep flight, right? Showtime. Thank you for participating. Do you have the skills to motor through? Let's find out. A boo guards each room, lose and get sent back to the beginning of the room. Okay, yeah, you can't grab the chandeliers. This isn't Mega Man X. Mega Man Zero? Mega Man Zero 2, there you go. I've never played the Mega Man Zero games, those are handheld, right? Should you start if you want to try it? I think Mega Man X1 is a good place to start, honestly. It's such a good game. Yeah, it's uh it's a pretty normal thing. Motor skills allows you to change your jump type in midair. It's uh so Morsel did this as a standalone level a long time ago, and then he took that level and he actually put it into Storks at the end, after the big boo.
Hmm, can't tell if that's a monster regrab or if that is a control kill. I think that it's a monster regrab. Monster regrab confirmed. Mega Man X SA1. Yeah, if you want to get into classic Mega Man games, the Mega Man 2 is really good. Thanks, Margo. Where I pressed uh, B. You should totally start with Mighty Number no. Nine. What a good game! Mega Man Network Transmission, actually. It's the one you should start with. Laser, I can't help but feel that you're being sarcastic. Oh, holy shit, got him. Jesus. That hot fire, that fuego. That awkward. I was watching somebody play The Binding of Isaac the other day, and they beat a boss named Rag Mega. And he, after he beat him, he was like, Rag Mega, more like Rag Dedda. <laughs> uh, wanted to reach through the computer and fucking strangle him. Good joke. Yeah, extra joke for that one, for sure. Fucking extra joke. Oh! You guys remember when extra joke was extra wow? I remember. a full jump off of that and not run into the spikes I feel like I'll run into the spikes I never played mighty number no. nine what makes it such a bad game it was a Kickstarter game that they promised way too much for and then they weren't able to deliver anything on because they spread themselves so thin and it ended up becoming just a horrible mess of a video game as a result it was a mediocre pile of trash They were like, if we hit this stretch goal, then we're going to port it to this console. And then if we hit this stretch goal, we'll port it to this one too. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And then they tried to put it onto like nine different consoles. And it ended up being a fucking disaster as a result.
The difference between a game like Mighty Number no. 9 and Shovel Knight though is that Shovel Knight didn't take on the identity of a single game and then become the inferior version of that. Mighty Number no. 9 was just Mega Man and it was a shitty Mega Man. Shovel Knight decided that it wanted to take inspiration from uh, Castlevania and DuckTales and Zelda 2 and yada 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 a whole bunch of different ones and create its own identity based off of combining the best aspects of all of those. Meanwhile, Mighty Number no. 9 was just Mega Man but shitty. Like, when I'm playing Shovel Knight, I can feel the influence of those games, but I don't feel compelled to compare it. Meanwhile, if you're playing Mighty Number no. 9, you can't see anything but Mega Man. Uh, like, like the entire time that you're playing Mighty Number no. 9, you're like, I could instead be playing Mega Man. Hmm, okay. Interesting. One of the biggest disappointments in modern gaming. Okay. What is your opinion on tabletop gaming? Do you just mean like board games? I like board games. Close. You like that strat? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I did wrong, but it sounds like I turned something wrong into something right. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I've never played D&D before. I made a character with my dad when I was a kid, but I never actually played with them. I used to play Magic the Gathering a lot. But that's a, that's a TCG, not tabletop gaming, I guess. Oh. Tofu is the winner with the sexiest strat found in the game. I'm assuming that he didn't find it in the chuck level. <laughs> I, went, I went back and I watched the, the clip of me beating that level and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> Just the vitriol. Bro, it was just fuck you, fuck you, and your fucking mother, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, what? The shit? What? <laughs>
I lost it. I lost the run to RNG, dude. Do I need to like pull back or what? Um, uh, Lil Fist, thanks for the gift sub to uh, Rosie san Thanks very much, dude. I appreciate that. Saw's hurt, laser. Really? Hmm. Find like a setup for this part. My re grabs are too good. I love when I look up at my tabs and I forget to close out something that I showed you guys earlier in the stream and then I get to laugh at it a second time. <laughs> One of my favorite things that happens while I'm streaming. So full jump. Mm, I guess I was a little late. That's wholesome. Oh, yeah. I'm way late this time. Yeah. Late again! Oh man, come on. Get enough height. Okay, that time it dipped before I was able to bounce at the end. Yeah, I just can't get enough height.
One, two, three, four. I can't get enough height. Hmm. One, two, three. No, that doesn't work. Trying to like stall and pull back a little bit, it doesn't fucking work. It's like the saw blade is in the wrong spot, like it should be coming down just a second sooner. Hmm, I don't know. I can't stall and pull back and I can't go right forward into it. I I really don't get it. It's like it doesn't work. It's like the level doesn't function. I'm bouncing as late as I possibly can off of the shell. Quick open lunar magic. There's music. We might need a change of scenery <laughs> in a sec here as far as music goes. I don't know why that worked. I have no idea. Oh, I see. Gotcha. That's what I figured. I figured that wouldn't be a boss checkpoint. The boss is too easy.
I guess, sure. Dang it. Is that quail? You, any of you guys, any of you guys who have been on Twitch for a really long time, uh, do you remember your first time with low latency mode? You guys remember that shit? Any of you guys were freaked out by fucking low latency mode back when it first happened? If any of you guys are like newish to Twitch, and by newish I mean like the last two years, if any of you guys have only been on Twitch for like two years or so, it used to take like 10 seconds, probably about. Uh, it used to take about 10 seconds for people to respond to messages. So when they first introduced low latency mode, uh, when they first introduced low latency mode, I was in Panga's stream. And I said something in his chat, and he responded to me after about two seconds, and I was like... What? <laughs> Excuse me. I about fucking crap my pants when I saw that. He was like, you know, what's up, Laser Belch? And I was like... <laughs> what? Yeah, it used to be really long. Yeah, it used to be way longer, so... Yeah, you used to have to, like, strategically time laughing at something. Like, you used to have to see into the future. Like, predict ahead of time that they were gonna fuck up and laugh. <laughs> or, or, if you wanted them to read your resub notification, you had to, like, strategically time it. You're like, I think that he's gonna have a moment... now. <laughs> Oh, Darkwing, I didn't mean to time you out for a full day yesterday, dude, my bad. <laughs> that was an accident. It was a funny accident, but it was an accident. Bitch. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, whoops. Yeah, welcome to the streets, though. Shit happens. Uh, Nico, thanks for the five months of Twitch Prime. I appreciate that, dude. That's Hold up. Yeah, it used to be like everybody was on mobile. Crap. I didn't mean to run into that note block. Exactly. Exactly, it's like being on mobile. I was rooting against you all day yesterday. <laughs> I had a whisper that was like, what was up with the ban? And I looked at it and I was like, what ban? I was like, you timed him out for 81,000 seconds. It's like, oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> My bad. I don't know my own strength. You're getting Gungeon? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy it.
Ah, oh, that might have worked. Oh well. Oh, you're kidding me. You're addicted to Loop Hero? Yeah, I've heard the Loop Hero is good. Dang it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why it just made me think. I'm addicted to this new game called Loop Hero. That just made me think of that fucking old advertisement. You guys remember? There's an advertisement for a mobile game. Where I was like, I keep on getting killed by this same guy. <laughs> what the fuck was that commercial? The Legend 47? <laughs> was it was it 27? I <laughs> the, you mean the Legend 27? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> God damn it. Clash of Clans commercial, maybe it was. My mom was obsessed with that game. Fucking mobile gamers, dude. It was Game of War. The amount of times that we've mentioned Raid Shadow Legends, they should have they should be sponsoring the stream. Yeah, but we usually talk shit about Raid Shadow Legends, so. I talk shit about mobile gaming in general, but. I have already said multiple times in the past that if the stream ever has a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship, just know. Just know that they paid off my entire fucking college debt. Because <laughs> I'm not taking a sponsorship from, from a mobile game with a shitload of microtransactions unless I'm getting hella paid. Because I think that they're all fucking scumbags. Absolutely nothing wrong with creating games that get most of their money from microtransactions and addictive behavior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. It was that uh, that game where you played as the uh, the brothers. Can't remember what the game was called. But it was like a top-down game where you played as two brothers and um what if it was just called Two Brothers? It's two brothers in a van. Hmm. 
It was called Ball Fondlers? Probably. Raid Shadow Legends has kept a lot of YouTubers afloat. Hard to hate them because of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you mean that they have swooped in like vultures on people's failing YouTube careers and realized that they could turn a profit off of using them as free advertising. Basically free with how deep their pockets are. Very easy to hate them. Very, very easy. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Okay, yeah, that was the game. I remember that. Donkey asked them if he could say whatever he wanted, and they were like, yeah, sure, and then he talked shit on them, and they were like, all right, take it down. I see some mobile game ads lately that are really fucking funny because they're like They're five second long ads that feel like they're not meant to be five second long ads So it'll just show like a it'll show just like a gif of a warrior standing there and it'll be like can no one challenge me I believe that and then the commercial just ends in the middle of a sentence and you're just like Was this meant to be a 15 second ad? <laughs> Wait, it just ended. What the fuck? I don't even know what I was being advertised. Correctly, just not quite fast enough. fault anybody for taking a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship or anything like that. I, I'm not I'm not gonna like condemn people or anything like that, but I know how they make the bulk of their money is off of people with low impulse control like me who would see it and go, it's only five bucks. It's only five bucks. Just over and over and over again. Because I've had that before. Uh, I just don't play types of games like that anymore because uh, I have bad impulse control and I will spend like all of my money. So, I, I couldn't see myself advertising that kind of game, because I know that they are targeting people like me, without any regard for the fact that they could be fucking up their life. You don't like surprise mechanics? 
Not unless one shows up in my fucking garage and fixes my car. It's the only surprise mechanic I want in my life. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Play that Price is Right theme, baby. I'm here to fix your car. Oh my god! Wow! Thank you very much, sir. Bro, what the fuck? What could I have done better? I was gonna post some on Laser's Discord, but a mod prevented me, maybe for the best. Yeah, don't post anything that has, like, actual nudity in the Discord. That can actually get me in trouble, I'm pretty sure. You have to, like, label your channels as not safe for work if, uh, they're, if they're posting, like, actual nudity and stuff. I've seen that, Flops. Yeah, I've seen that. Definitely have seen that. Okay, so you do need to spin on the last two before the final bounce. Why, why are, why are drawings in, uh, in quotes, drawing, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> That's delicious. It could be. Lou, thanks very much, my man. How you been? Okay, I feel like I did the exact same thing there. <laughs> Thanks for the 23 months, dude. Ah, I see. All right, that's that's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Whatever. Dude, you got your sense of smell and taste back after you had uh, after you had COVID, right? Coworkers got COVID in April and still hasn't gotten their sense of smell and taste back 100%. You did, but some things are still off. Yep, I feel that. Uh... 
Damn, dude, that jump is really, really tight. One of my coworkers got it in April. She said if you expose yourself to a really strong taste or smell and yell at your brain what it's supposed to be, that it helps. Is that what you have to yell at your brain? <laughs> What's up, D? How's it going, dude? Thanks for the full year, man. How's that crash grind going, dude? Final hit on the final boss yesterday and choked. No, dude, that is a heartbreaking. Hey, on the plus side, the only place to go from there is up. That, that's rock bottom, you can't go down any further. Here's my thing with stuff like that. This depends on the kind of chat that you breed to, but, uh, and, and maybe you don't have to deal with it as much when, uh, you have a smaller viewer count, but it really sucks when something like that happens and you look over at chat and people are fucking laughing at you. That actually feels real bad. So I hope that nobody laughed, because that shit fucking hurts. Some people just can't read the room. Crap. Crap. What am I doing? I always feel that way when I see uh, the Happy Hob lose a run that's like super deep. Like he's he's playing he's playing like the God Run and he's like five games deep or something like that, and then he loses the run, and he just looks heartbroken. And his chat is all like, "Limo!" <laughs> it's so weird. It's okay, he's British. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way.
He was trying to say Naruto and Boruto the other day. You guys, you guys gotta stop falling for this shit, man. Hob is actually pretty smart. He portrays himself to be really fucking dumb on stream all the time. He's actually a pretty smart dude. <laughs> I don't understand how to do this part. Every once in a while, he'll pretend to speak Japanese. And he'll say, he'll say a bunch of words that are just like nonsense words all together and he'll slip Naruto in there. He can say it. <laughs> oh, Naruto! Like, he'll, he'll do shit like that. <laughs> Nandata Naruto! Oh! It's like, he can say it. He's just being a dick. <laughs> it's like that time that he was saying, uh, disingenuous. And he was like, dis and just and just, just and des and just. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit dis, dis and just and just. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. motor skills, right? So that means that it's morsel influence. Might as well go all the fucking way with the morsel influence, right? No boss age. No half measures. instead of moth. Wait a bit more, really get my toes in the lava? Good idea, dude. If you wait a little bit longer, then Mario's feet will get especially hot. And then he'll be more motivated to get out of the lava. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hit the lava and I'll be like, <laughs> I'll just fly up there, and that's how I win. trying to see if I can hit this Koopa, this first one. If I land on him really fast, will that, uh, in Space Fixin's words, will that squirt him over to the right side? never seen that before. How weird. That's crazy. But also, get timed out, idiot. First jump is obnoxiously tight. Hmm. How can I stall any longer? Have you tried getting better? Have you tried being funny? All right, gotta be responsible and go do stuff. See you later, little fist. Hmm. How the fuck am I gonna stall any longer? Okay, so I thought that I needed to hit the first Koopa right away, otherwise it wouldn't turn him around. It's not so. Not the case. Just sometimes he doesn't hit him.
Wow. I didn't think I was making that, but I'm getting there. These jumps are so tight. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> I'm reminding my viewers that they're hungry. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I have the hungies. <laughs> My goodness. He's right. good. starved if it weren't for your stream. You're welcome, dude. This is a public service announcement. Eat food. Food is good. Yikes. 
God damn it. Did you guys see that? It was like a beautiful combination of the things that we were talking about yesterday. Did you guys see this shit? Hang on. Somebody posted this in uh, Discord yesterday. Check this out. It was me, Barry. I made them draw Lola Bunny with fewer sexual features so that you wouldn't be horny and reduce your blood flow to make you a millisecond slower. Is it slow enough for me to kill Iris? It was me, Barry. God damn it, dude. I made them draw Lola Bunny with fewer sexual features so that you wouldn't be horny. <laughs> it was me, Barry. <laughs> that shit is awesome. I know. Hmm. I love that he emphasizes the the U on the kick so that you wouldn't be horny. This ending part is super hard. I just need to re-grab across. Has Hacker's Dream ever been released? I don't think so. Nah. All I had to do was not jump. I thought that I had time to jump. God damn. 
Okay, the ending is actually not hard. I'm just dumb. Crap! I thought that I could cross him up. Uh, freaking, huh? Thanks for the 35 months, man. How you been, dude? Good to see ya. Not too shabby. You'll love to hear it. That's something that my dad always says. Not too shabby. Your dad says that too. Hmm, what was different about it that time? If you were very shabby, you'd kind of look like crap. You would be shabby is like of poor quality. That's kind of what it is. Like run down. Like a fucking sex move or something, the full shabby. Oh my god, she gave him the full shabby. <gasps> really? That whore. <laughs> <laughs> On the first date? <laughs> uh oh. Ah, I see it! <laughs> God damn it. I get back. I want to grab this one first because it's clearly the most difficult one to grab. Was it Garlic that used this as their last boss theme? I'm pretty sure.
That's what I thought. I was like, which hack did I play that I had to listen to the first two seconds of this, this song repeatedly? Oh yeah, it was garlic. Should've stood on the right side? Oh well. Seemed like that should have hit him, but I guess his hitbox was a little bit higher up. Oh. Hoodwinked, bamboozled. This is pretty annoying. Smeckledorf, now you're just making shit up. stood on the left side? It didn't even look like it. No, I could not have. No, I could not have. smokes Dan 2.5 how's it going dude I haven't seen you in forever how you doing spark of hope congratulations on making it this far did you find all the switch palaces to unlock the road ahead the grand prize awaits all right let's find out one two three <laughs> what? This won't be a free level. Gotcha. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks for the gift sub to Dan 2.5. Welcome back, Dan. It's good to see you, dude.
HLPM. Thanks so much for the five gift subs, dude. I appreciate that. To uh, George Clooners. <laughs> we have George Clooney at home. George Clooney at home. KWSX, Ben W, Bareth, and Trans Tablo. Thanks very much. Hmm. Oh. 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 Won't I just bash my skull into uh Won't I just bash my skull into a spike here? How's it going? What it be, what it do. This jump is insane. I am not a one tile man. How come the vine only eats one of the spikes and then doesn't eat the other one? It's not very hungry. Yeah, what the fuck? consistently. No idea. I guess, whatever. It's a double shell. Should have realized. Secret mechanics that not even Laser knows about? No, I know about it. First time that I was ever forced to do it was in Gracie World, Special World. It's just not one that you see very often. First jump is annoying as fuck. <laughs> Off of the chuck. Ultra Star, have you seen any number platforms? I haven't seen any number platforms yet. Dude, I stalled as long as I could off of everything. 
I don't know how to stall any longer, dude. You're gonna have to hit up Happy Hob for his fucking stalling methods. Star is a pretty specific level type. It deals with uh, number platforms and on-off switches for the most part. I gotta stall longer on the falling platform, but that's so awkward. Oh. I thought Ultra Star was any level that just had a bunch of moving platforms. You thought wrong! You thought wrong! Ultra Star is specifically falling number platforms and on off switches. It's the mole level, yes. Look at all them moles. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Does this look like a Mario Maker stream, bro? Account created three minutes ago. Oh, okay. You're 22 and you have three gray hairs? Life comes at you fast, bro. Yo, Laser, I think you should know that you're being watched from a pretty wicked blanket fort right now. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I remember making those when I was a kid. That's dope. Gray means you won't go bald. Is that what it means? <laughs> Dude, I was fucking mind blown the other day. I saw this streamer, I don't even remember how I got to her page, um, hang on. Some fucking Instagram rabbit hole I went down ended up leading me to this streamer because somebody was hosting her. Uh, hang on. Check this out. Uh, so this is her in front of her uh, collection of like Final Fantasy stuff. And I was like, damn. You know what the caption of this picture is? 39 years old. Here's my cat. Here's my collection. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Oh. 
Witchcraft, right? That fucking blew me away. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. It's just sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't happen. Jesus. Darkwing Duck, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? That's Marathon, thanks for the 35 months, bro. Hey, nice hack, bro. Trying to go so fast. Oh. Oh. This game yo yo's back and forth between really fun and fucking miserable. It's like. It's like he, he was like, I'm gonna let the player play this level. And then other levels, he's like, alright, you must be this tall. To even start the level. And it's just constant back and forth. Alright, you're allowed to play the game, or, alright, you're not even allowed to play the game. You're allowed to play the game versus you can't even get your foot in the door, idiot. I'm concerned with is Bleeding Gums Murphy. Oh my fucking fuck. Can I play the fucking level? The answer is of course no. Rank this level a very irritating out of 10 so far. Thank you, thank you.
Thanks. I appreciate the 500 bits. Jesus fucking Christ! Or grimy as he liked to be called, you know, he did like to be called grimy. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> I now understand the, the title of the game. The, the game yo-yos back and forth between very and fun. It's not very fun. It's this level is very and this level is fun. Here's the very level. Here's the fun level. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This level is very. Oh, very. Of course, why wouldn't that be there? Of course. You wouldn't want them to play your level. It's like playing Operation with Michael J. Fox. I can't fucking twitch any direction without dying. What the fuck? Looks rough. Congratulations on your functioning eyeballs. I am so happy for you. You know, there are some people out there that don't have functioning eyeballs. Custom mad Gmote. Oh, googly. That looks like Madge. This is insanity.
Looks like Chris Lloyd and Roger Rabbit, you know? I saw uh, Jessica Rabbit the other day. Somebody used a gif of her on Twitter. And there was somebody in here recently that was bitching about One Piece and they were like, Nami's waist is too thin, blah, 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 blah. And I looked at Jessica Rabbit and I was like, her waist is way thinner. <laughs> Look at her, oh my god. She's a fucking pencil with gigantic tits. People people done been drawing stuff like that for forever. I should have used my fucking clairvoyance. Dude, fucking come on, bro! Yeah, I don't think I'm clicking that. There's like sadistic level creation and then there's make the nexus level the hardest level in the game. Like, fucking come on, bro. I'm dead already. Death loop for the past two to three hours and bullets per minute. Oh, God. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand, man. It's just like it doesn't work sometimes.
Holy fucking shit, dude. people are impressed when I play games like Celeste when I play stuff like this all the time. Wow, he got through the game that was meant to be played by humans so fast! Holy shit! That's amazing! Corona got dote or something. Dote quit streaming, dude. If you want to hear from him, go join his Discord. not accepting people. That's entirely possible. Yeah, this is the Nexus level. Zero's almost over? Yeah, I know. What don't you understand, D? Zero restarted season two? No, it was just split into two halves. Explain to us what are better boobs or butts and why. Please don't bring feet into the debate. Why the hell would I bring feet into the debate?
Was I supposed to damage boost there? Probably not, huh? Okay, I didn't expect him to jump there. Hopefully the popularity means that we'll get more seasons. Yeah, I'm hoping so, but also like, um... The light novel is still going, I'm pretty sure. So there's still more volumes to be sold, and that usually means that uh, they'll, they'll put more effort into an anime adaptation, just so that they can sell more copies of the written material and merchandise. Also, Rem, Ram, and Amelia, uh, our merch has got to be extremely popular, I would imagine. People love that shit. Why, dude? People like Amelia. Amelia becomes a lot better as uh, as the show goes on, as the as the novel goes on. People are really warming up to her in season two. Yeah. See, I didn't know if he was gonna fucking stall or not. What the shit, dude? This baseball part doesn't make any fucking sense. Actually becoming a great character. I really hope that they don't lean into, um, really hope they don't lean into something that they've been leaning into in the light novel with Amelia. Um, I, I don't think that they will, just because I think that it would make things awkward for American audiences. Uh, the Japanese audience is a lot more okay with stuff like this, but, um, Amelia is physically, like, hundreds of years old or something like that, but mentally she's only actually been lucid and alive for, like, 14 years. And they repeatedly reference it in the written material. They repeatedly fucking reference, like, she's technically only 14. I don't want to think of her that way, asshole. Please stop talking about it. Makes me uncomfortable too, man. She was frozen. Like legit frozen. She was she was in ice. And her body aged, but her mind didn't because she was unconscious the entire time. Why you like kaiju number eight isn't the main character like in his 30s hashtag relatable main dude is 32 yeah i thought so
Oh boy, alright. Well, you know, last time he jumped up in the air at the very end, so I decided to stay low, but this time he didn't, so that's pretty fucking cool. Reminds me of uh, Game Grumps. They came up with a uh, they came up with a character that was like absurdly likable. Basically, is how I would describe him. They came up with a character named uh, Hoshi. Sad Hoshi is what they called him, and they were like, "How do we take a character that is so nice and lovable?" and just ruin him instantly. And Dan was like, make him a pedophile. <laughs> it's like, wow, you did that really fast, Dan. Take this character and immediately make him irredeemable. Alright, I don't know, what the hell? No, he's not wrong. No, he's not. Let's not, James Charles. Let's fucking not. I am praying, praying 
this level doesn't have two halves. I'm hoping to God that the fucking first half was running across the switch bridge. Pretty please. Think this is gonna get anyone speed running this? Are you kidding me? This is the kind of shit that Tofu lives for. You go right? Please go right! I'm on the right side, you dumb cunt! Jesus fucking Christ. Go right! Oh my god, dude. Oh boy, what if the level ended though? What if it ended? Holy fuck. This is a 2020 KLDC level, there's 20 more rooms. Yeah, it just never ends. Armored Cory, thanks for the raid, dude. Hey, welcome in. This is the saltiest I've been on stream in quite a while. Hope you had a great stream. That's delicious. Hey, thanks for the 14 months, dude. Appreciate that. Come on. Maps in a Final Fantasy Tact making maps. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's Kang, thanks for the 13 months. Welcome back. Thanks, guys. That's very cool. I need that.
Is it okay if you post the link? Yeah, go nuts, dude. Fine by me. Final Fantasy Hactics, I like it. In case you guys are hungry, my shirt is here to remind you, by the way. Eat! <laughs> I didn't realize until somebody was like, damn, Laser, your shirt makes me want Cheetos. <laughs> I'm like, how the hell could my shirt make you want Cheetos? Oh, I gotcha. God. This level is very. Oh boy. It is very. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it sure is. I pressed Y, dude. I pressed it. I pressed it. Maybe I'll press X next time. Ugh. Chad is horny today. No more than usual. I would say that they are actually like a uh, 4 out of 10 on the horny scale today. Bag up. Bag up, Tim. Bag reverse, Tim. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh Jesus! That's delicious. Uh, Neronculus. Thanks very much for the 19 months. Holy crap! Thank you very much. Did we talk about Bible Black? Usually, people aren't actually horny when they're talking about Bible Black. Though is the thing. Yeah, people aren't typically actually horny. They're just memeing. You are? Speak for yourself? Oh, okay. See, most... I, I'm guessing, at least, that most of chat probably don't want to see uh, a girl grow 
a forearm length penis out of her vagina? I'm guessing, and maybe you do. No judgment. I'm just guessing. Speak for your fucking self. All right. <laughs> why you gotta? Why you gotta share your resub right then? No one shares. Why you gotta? mean to press A. Hey, thanks for the seven months, dude. I choked on my beer thanks to that. You're welcome. I heard you were into choking. So you were scaroused, is that what you're saying? I think, I think all of us have probably been scaroused at some point in our life. <sighs> the fear boner, yep. Every time I have sex with my wife. <laughs> Good lord, dude. That's fucked up, man. It's your nickname in high school. Ah, oh, God. What have I become? My Swedish friend. God fucking damn it, man. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know. <laughs> yes, I've heard it. that I used to work with named Hunter and um, he's probably like 19 maybe 20 19 I would say is probably probably right came down the production line one day and he was asking everybody as he went by them he was like you know who Kermit the Frog is you know who Kermit the Frog is came up to me he said you know who Kermit the Frog is I was like yeah he's like well fuck me right because somebody up there was making fun of him for not knowing who Kermit the Frog was. So he was like, I'm going to prove a point. I'm going to walk down the line and I'm going to find somebody else who doesn't. He didn't find a single other person who didn't know who Kermit the Frog was. <laughs> who the fuck doesn't know who Kermit is? <laughs> you know who Kermit the Frog is? Yeah, fuck me, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> Fucking zoomers. God damn it. Your girlfriend didn't know who Kermit was? Did you ask to see her ID after that? Are you sure that you're as old as you say you are? I gotta make sure that I'm not dating a fucking high schooler.
Who is this Mickey Mouse? What is that? Pac-Man? Pac Ooh, Pac-Man? What is he packing? He's packing my dick. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. This is crazy. All right. Dude from Smash, what, Captain Falcon? <sighs> God damn it. Sweden didn't really show the Muppets? Yeah, it's probably because of the Swedish chef. I can't blame them. Or was that Sesame Street? I can't remember. <laughs> Hard to remember which puppet show is which sometimes when you haven't seen them in forever. This level looks sick. Yup. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Yeah. supposed to do here are we having very fun yet it's very all right how are uh, how are the balls and nets today dude you're still doing that today right stressful oh no Did you stop my and wish uh, Space Fix and a happy birthday? Oh. Oh. Lots of tech hiccups today? Oh no, that's no fun. Oh. How many colors of Big Bird are there? I've only seen yellow. The Dutch Big Bird is blue? What? Really? That's wacky. I'm imagining like a... I'm imagining like a Sesame Street choose your fighter page like in a fighting game <laughs> you see them changing big birds color I'm gonna take you for a ride and it's like doom, doom, doom. <laughs> changing the colors <laughs> that's wild I did not know that Big Bird is top tier, I I believe it, 100%. How? How? How would I ever avoid that? It's 
It's not like I didn't know that the fish was there. I don't have any fucking idea how to avoid it. Hmm, oh. boy. He looks horrifying, dude. He's still got yellow eyes. How weird. Okay, well, whatever. Why are his pupils so big? I don't know, dude. Hang on a sec, guys. I still have this fucking clip open. I can show I can show you guys this clip a second time. <laughs> Enjoy. Such an old clip. I love that one so much, man. Oh shit, I threw my fucking controller. <laughs> I actually don't have any idea how I would avoid this. I don't know how to avoid this fish. Hmm. trying to figure out what the hell is behind the shell myself. I don't know what the hell's going on in this part because I don't ever get any time to actually see it and analyze it because I'm already dead. Like, how? the zoo with my three-year-old and they're on the carousel I would suggest not making my mistake and take your three-year-old to the zoo yeah that sounds awful I'm sorry dude hope you have a great day though Experiences. That sounds like the opposite of an enjoyable experience to me. I ever supposed to react that fast? You have many times part of being a parent. Man, I already sleep so bad. I can't imagine being a parent. 
I would end up having a, a fugue. Oh, wow, I forgot everything about myself and disappeared. Wow, I have a new identity. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, ain't it? You get used to it? How about instead of getting used to it, I just don't. Yeah. This does put a smile on my face. Why didn't I grab the shell? Reminder that this is a Nexus level. Reminder. You can post the link of Terrifying Big Bird. Yeah, go for it. I'm sorry to hear that, Troy. like fucking creepypasta big bird what the hell who thought that was a good idea that's so funny he looks like the big bird that sucks dick for uh for for drug money I'll do anything, man, I swear! <sighs> this is very exciting. My favorite part is that the level doesn't work. that happen? Oh, I get to fucking try. No, I don't. Nope. I don't know what to do, dude.
What happened to the shell? I clashed the shell with an enemy when I landed on it, so I probably have to try and juggle the shell while maintaining forward momentum. So, you know. It's just a nightmare section, that's all. Don't you fucking start with me with your goddamn cheerleading. You can do it! Yeah! Woo! I don't need it. <laughs> I don't like that shit, dude. And I, I hate addressing it, too, because every single time that I say, I say, I don't need your cheerleading, people are like, okay, well, then you suck. Well, then you suck and you're fat. I don't want that either. Fuck you and your mother. Your average laser, 50-50, right in the middle. Uh, thanks for all the shoes. Appreciate the seven months. Thank you very much. See, Pekin Egg's got the right idea, dude. He's got the right idea. Just talk about something else. Instead of, instead of focusing on how good or bad I am right now, when I'm super stuck, just talk about something else. Did you guys see that fucking video that somebody played in Grimstream the other day of the dude screaming at somebody for not being good at the trumpet? I've never seen that guy before, but apparently he's a goddamn internet phenomenon. Who's he played with? I hear the Grateful Dead. I hear he's played with the Grateful Dead. I guess we don't get to try this attempt. Don't you hate pants? If I did, I would hate that guy. He's like 80% pants. kidding me? How did I not bump that? I mean, have you seen the guy? If you've never seen the guy, I can show you. He's just like screaming at somebody. Hang on. Uh, trumpet fight. Yeah, I don't even need to fucking pull up the video. I can just show you. That's him. <laughs> he looks like he looks like an enemy from Yoshi's Island, dude. <laughs> you guys you guys know who I'm talking about too. Yeah, Bert the Bashful. Exactly.
the level just doesn't work, dude. It just doesn't work. I think that me grabbing that shell is frame rule reliant, so it's just like sometimes I get there and it doesn't work. Sometimes I get there and it do. everyone to know who wears the pants <laughs> it's me I wear the pants like you can just tell looking at that fucking thumbnail that he is a miserable bastard like look at this picture right here prime gaming <laughs> uh, PMP 7x thanks for the six months dude welcome back I appreciate that shirt keeps on reminding me to eat. Good going. Now I'm hungry too. <laughs> yeah, when you wear a rainbow shirt that just says eat in big ass letters. Let's see lab rap. Have a good night, dude. Almost time for hot sauce and lunch meat? Nah, I don't got any. Yeah, yeah. If I if I opened up the shirt a little bit more, it would it would say eat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Unzip a little bit more. hurts my face. Boy, who really hates it?
Nobody's tried that on me in a while, thankfully. But I also haven't been like upset on stream in a while. <laughs> My favorite is when the video game just doesn't work. See you later, Hobozi. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Spring Ball, shut the fuck up. Christ, dude, what the fuck? fucking hurts my hands. Trolls. No, Morsel's level design philosophy isn't very trolly. It's more like you're going to play this level repeatedly. You're going to play this part over and over and over again. Thank fuck there weren't any Kaizo blocks. Thank fuck. Oh god, get me out of here. Ugh. I would have been pretty fucking sad. Oh man. Watch the next level be 15 minutes? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, dude. I'll look at it, but the goal today was actually for it to be a short stream. This level is in honor of uh, Dram 1's Dram's Butthole. I like that you, you, quali you qualified that statement. I really like that you didn't just say, this is in honor of Dram's Butthole. <laughs> Of course I went down, dude. Are you kidding me? I do want to see what uh, both of these levels are, though. Cookies Cavern. And this level is in honor of Dram 2's Cetacean Cavern. This level is in honor of Dram 2's The Cetacean Cavern. Wow. I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> He's amazing! 
<laughs> now your clairvoyance kicks in yeah all right uh that's gonna do it for me today guys i was gonna end early today so that we could host up uh the beast because he is doing a fundraising stream for his grandfather and uh we like the beast and we like uh charity and all that jazz so let's go host up the beast and uh have a good old-fashioned hangout so let's go raid the beast and if you guys could do me a solid if you guys could do me a big fat solid and make sure that you uh you know you throw like five bucks this way just throw throw five dollar reduce his way i don't ask you guys for much but I will ask you for that. Uh, if you have anything that you can give, five dollar reduce, and that would be uh, that would make me very happy. If you have to unsubscribe, I don't care. Pause timer. <laughs> Go raid the beast. He's a good buddy of mine, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Take care. Love you guys so much. Thanks for everything as always. Bye bye.